Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andy and today we are playing some more Europa Universalis 4. Uh, but before that, I'd uh, like to ask you to like, comment and uh, subscribe if you enjoy this content. And uh, either way, I hope you have uh, fun with me. Um, so, we are uh, jumping back in here into our colonial uh, realm. Um, I think we'll just play right away. Uh, okay, we managed to do that. Uh, Portugal is actually doing so well in this game, <laughs> despite being our supposed uh, underling in the personal union. Uh, and I'm kind of like, kind of sick of it, because you know what Portugal got the gold event? They now got the Colombian exchange event. What more could they possibly want? I guess it's because they managed to have the first North American colony? Like, could that be it? I'm not entirely sure, but I would... Uh, that that might be it, actually. So, yeah, but, but our colonies are underway, and I guess the stronger Portugal gets, the stronger we get as well, because we get... Um, oh, you know what? We don't get um, the vassal payments, because they are in a personal union. They're not a vassal, strictly speaking. Let's see. We have some money. We can, um, okay, none of this is applicable, we need 30% in the Tunis trade node if, if the burgers, if, if we want to satisfy the burgers. I guess we can build some more trade ships, can't we? No, we cannot. <laughs> um, we need our administrative points to get modern theocracy, that's where we want to go. So I'm not going to spend that either. Um... Is the subject of Castile or Tunis? 30% we have 17. We would just need some trade ships. You know what? Let's do that and uh, kind of save it for later. I think that's what we're going to try to do. Um, we can make these states, but we won't since they're colonies. Um, let's see. Own a large city. That could be nice. Of course, we would have to spend points on it. Are we willing to do so? Um, Age of Discovery will end in seven months. We will get new uh, perks and traits, or possible perks and traits. Portugal will lose their settler because plus 50, that's a lot. Of course, if they have it right now, um, I believe they uh, could have it. Um, let's see. We've been attacked in Havana, but that's fine. We'll, we'll manage. 11. Um, we get eight, we gain 11 uh, admin points per month. That's a lot. We should be able to reach... Like, we are 16 years ahead, though. Um, which is uh, a whole lot of time in this game. It gives us massive, massive penalties to the next... The next level there. Um, we must protect our trade. I'll just uh, improve relations with Portugal. Let's see how are we doing in the Holy Roman Empire. We are far from being elected. We shall continue. Um, yeah, we kind of wondered if we could attack Naples, I guess. But they're, they're, they're just... Their alliance with France is really aiding them. Which kind of sucks for us. Tunis. Tunis is a land of opportunity for us, you could say. <laughs> um, same as... Um, the same can be said for Morocco. Of course, the whole thing is that we didn't want to spend uh, administrative points in coring the region. That's why we gave it to Portugal, uh, which we hope to just be able to um, sort of annex anyway later on. Um, since this demands 495 points and we only have 373, uh, there's kind of no, points, uh, no point in saving up here yet. So I think we can... Um, get factories as an idea. I guess we then could also could have also taken the uh, expand base tax mission. But that's uh, as gone. So let's do this. We will have fort maintenance on uh, rivals minus 50% and that's that's quite good. Okay, we are in a new area. And that means there are new age uh, points or age specific uh, perks 
Uh, Spain has one. Spanish Turkios. Tarkios, maybe. Uh, shock damage received, minus 30%. That's pretty excellent. Um, I believe. But we are not Spain. We will only become Spain. Um... Let's see, the Alhambra Decree. With the fall of Granada, the last Muslim bastion of the Iberian Peninsula is now in Christian hands. Among our subjects, there are still, however, a large number of Jews, Muslims, and converts of questionable sincerity, known as Maranos and Moriscos. Hasn't that been a thing before? In order to create a truly universal Catholic state, it has been suggested that we force our Jewish population to either convert or leave the country forever with what possessions they have that are not of precious metals. Okay, so let's see. Expulsion or conversion. Castile gets Alhambra decree until 7th of January 1513. Uh, trade efficiency minus 10%, stability cost minus 10%, tolerance true place of true faith plus 1, and the papal state would like us more or let them stay. Give him 10 prestige. I think we'll just let them stay. It's fine. You, you can stay, Jews and Muslims and stuff. We, uh, we're trying to create a, an inclusive Spain here. Inclusive as can be, of course. Uh, let's see. I think it's imperative that we have strong boats. Strong ships, I mean. So we should maybe wait with the global tariffs. Even though I want tariffs, and if we get it, we can get cabildos. Uh, which gives us production efficiency plus 10%. That's a lot. So, you know what? Let's do this. Um, let's improve some more relations. We could ally later on. Yes, that's what we've been uh, thinking about. Um, that we need to ally these electors. But to only do so after we have gotten the administrative tech. Oh, we should have rushed it more. Oh, gosh. I'm so upset about that. Um, but it means that we can build up other places like the uh, colonies. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um... We can form the Spanish nation in two different ways, diplomatically or militarily. Right now, we are the superb... Um, we've basically gone down the diplomatic way uh, route. Uh, so let's see. We need um, 10 administrative points after that. Uh, sorry, technology. After that, we can simply, um, simply form it. Because we control uh, all of Aragon. Um, and uh, forming Spain will make us inherit Aragon right away. Uh, that's actually really good. Uh, another reason to just rush uh, modern theocracy. We're still so far ahead. It's crazy. Um, colonialism, yes, happened in our country. We can actually try to uh, help colonialism on its way then. Maybe to expand Sevilla or something. So let's um, increase... No, you know what? Let's just save up the administrative point so we can get it as soon as possible. And here, advancement effort. We want it to happen f as fast as possible. Luckily, when we got the institution, which you can see here, uh, colonialism came to Cadiz first. Um, it completely became a colonial uh, region, so to speak. And um, the regions around it also got a lot of col colonialism effort. And 2.4 per month is a lot. So that will help us. Let's see. You finish exploring. You will go back to exploring uh, Pacific South American coast. Good stuff. Let's see. Converting Arguin could be nice. Uh, it will cost us... Quite a lot per month, though. Over 111 months, so like around 9, 10 years. Um, I think we'll wait. Oh, you know what? Oh, yes, we had a colony. Another colony. Perfect. We shall put our colonists now uh, in um, maybe here. So that's some weirdo, rando state. Don't just like obviously like all all of a sudden come and <laughs> claim our islands here. 
I also like how they are connected. So this is interesting. Herzegovina are so large. I've never seen them this large. They are a new nation with the emperor, at least a new... I believe they're a starting nation. So they, they can not only be sort of created, but... Okay. Going to war, France will still protect them. They are in debt, though. And they have a high war exhaustion. We could try now to attack Naples and also France. Um, we could try. Let's see their army, how large their army is. Uh, it's slightly larger than ours. No, we are at the I, we are at a higher uh, technology level than they are. They have offensive ideas, however, but that might not make the biggest difference. Also, uh, combined with Aragon's and Portugal's armies, we should, I believe, be able to take them out. You know, well, maybe we should uh, do this now. It's it's risky. It's definitely risky, but it could be very interesting. Uh, they would also get Siena and uh, uh, Genoa, but they're not too big, uh, too big a nations. Ah, this is uh, this is hard because things are going very well. Uh, they could, of course, be going better. It, it, it can always go better. Um, Wins our truce with Morocco run right now. Uh, 508 and 512. Okay. <sighs> you know what? Mm. It's so hard. It's so hard to choose. Uh, good. He keeps exploring. It would be nice if you found uh, El Dorado or something. The green hills of Chilo. Native lose natives lose five aggressiveness. Let's see. Clergy estate lose 10, lose 10 papal influence, contain prestige. We have enough prestige, I think. We can afford losing 15 prestige. Um, and are they losing? Minus 52, plus 48. No, they're actually winning. You know what? Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. France is too powerful. We can't let them become that more powerful right now. So let's move our, move our forces up. Uh, can I sort of tell Aragon to get ready for war? Because you can do that if you have uh, if you have an ally and they uh, and sort of you have enough um, what's it called favors with them. Uh, but I guess since they're technically not that, we should have been able to though because they are training their troops which is really good oh my god portugal again they are training training their troops um uh, let's see havana excellent good riddance shouldn't that mean one two, oh this so this is one okay one two yeah okay um this here andalusian Treaties on national philosophy. No, clergy state loyalty sounds nice. Gives us a nice tax boost there. And they finished their war. Naples took a lot of land from the papal states. Uh, France is no longer in debt. Um, we have a lot of galleys here that could be useful in a fight in the Mediterranean. I think we shall try to link up with the Aragonese uh, fleet, maybe even sort of um, join our forces. So let's see, we can move them to the border, can't we? It's technically our nation. Is France our rivals? Yes. 
Uh, but we, we do want to attack Portugal and not France. It's already Naples. Um, and we have uh, claim on a, a lot of their regions, if not all. Uh, I guess Calabria would be the best one. This is closest. And um, Aragon should be able to... Can we create units in Aragonese territory? Yeah, yes, we can. Um, we would be over the force limit, but, but only by one. Let's just do that. Let's see if we can try to sort of rush it. And the Naples are having a hard time against rebels, it seems. Um, I'm going to try to get, since it's so long until we can get the level 10 technology, France has not gotten 9 yet, um, to see if we can get a level 2 general here. Just gonna check that out. Uh, I see, are you level 2? Yes, perfect. Uh, that's uh, that's amazing. Um, let's see. Uh, 2, 2, 1, 1. Uh, Ejercito. Uh, and Felipe is 3, 0, 3, 2. Uh, that's a total of 8. And this is a total of 6. So I think uh, Felipe is, uh, is the better general. I think we'll attack France now, actually. Now France. Naples. <laughs> At uh, Calabria. There we go. The war has commenced. An admiral shall be placed. Not yet. Hold on. Disband you. Uh, he had a glory seeker. That could have been nice to have. I don't know. Okay, let's uh, try to siege uh, Narbon and Carcassonne right away. And um, link up with the Argonese. Gulf of Valencia. They will come to me, I guess. You know what? Let's uh, allow friendly, fle friendly fleets, fleets to attach to my army instead. And have an admiral in it. Oh, amazing admiral. Three stars. Wow, okay. Um, that's uh, crazy good. The Italian wars happened to us. Mercenary costs. Mercenary discipline. Um, we could buy some mercenaries then. Um, maybe we could do that uh, in Sicily, actually. Anyone with cannons? No. Uh, 12. Anyone with horses? 9-1. Free company. Sounds like a generic company. All of these we cannot afford. Ah, yeah, they cost a lot. So let's uh, let, let's not do that as of now. We can block blockade um, out here. Let's see how this will go. And we're destroying them, absolutely destroying them. They only have the transport ships there. Well, we have galleys and a uh, three-star general versus their no-star captain. Can you attach to me, maybe? Let's actually go to the Strait of Messina so that Naples can't cross. Uh, actually, let's join the... Uh, yeah, the, we'll probably win that, but just in case. Great. Uh, now to, to Messina. Uh, we lost the battle here. That's fine. You, how about you stay inside? Another victory against uh, someone is coming up. And France is um, seeing our army and they're calling our bluff. We, we will have to meet them in the on the field. Um, and this is where the <laughs> possible massive mistake happens. Because France has a massive army there. Let's see who wins. They have a terrain penalty, which is excellent for us. Our two-star general took the lead. Let's see. Burned the priest and his books. And it looks like we will be the reigning champions of this battle. By some margin. Excellent. Great victory. A defining victory, even. Um... The Aragonese are winning over here. I think we should uh, keep uh, our army intact, though. Splitting them up could be fatal. Uh, and because we put our ship in the Strait of Messina, they uh, Naples was unable to cross the strait and destroy our one-man army here. Um, we will retain it there, build some more galleys to maybe link up with it. Um, yes, it's good that we can build stuff in uh, Aragon's territory. Uh, let's see, back to sieging uh, Narbonne. Maybe taking uh, 
Uh, no, we can't take anything. Ah, uh, Aragorn, what are you doing? Yes, you won. Perfect. Good job. I trusted you and you did not betray my trust. Let's see, they can't block here, right? I could make another army here, but uh, it would be so far above my army force limit that I'm not going to risk it. Having um, Naples' is, oh, 20, excellent Aragorn. Having Naples' army stuck in Naples is a big boon for us, and having them face a rebel siege as well, where they might lose um, Naples at any point, uh, would be great. Let's see, diplomatic relations plus one, that's actually exactly what we need. Um, we shall do that right away, so we can ally ally a possible uh, Holy Roman Elector after this war. Let's see. And the rebels uh, conquered uh, Naples. I mean, like, Napoli, the, the city. Not smart to go alone with uh, like six units up there, Portugal. You should have done what Aragon did. Aragon's a good boy. Portugal, you um, disappointed me. I know you're doing your best. So thanks anyway. Um, okay, this army is scary. Especially because Aragon has uh, less troops. Oh, this is even scarier. Oh, uh, perfect. <laughs> now we can link up our... Three armies here. And hopefully outmatch the French. Let's see. 11. Can we... Uh, no, we can't. And it's scary to attack here because these are all river regions. The attacker gets a penalty. Especially if the... Um, if the maneuver um, modifier of the general is too low. Okay, who died? The explorer died. And you're not out exploring, so that's good. Or is this the explorer? It was the explorer, right? Ah, uh, yeah, we have our generals and our admirals and our conquistador. Uh, okay, perfect. I think France already has a fairly high um, war exhaustion rate. Let's see, 5.8, uh, 5 so that's good. Five exhaustion means, I mean, <laughs> war exhaustion means that they um, have a harder time keeping their country together. I think we'll work on way, our way up here. It's a four table region, but taking Paris would be great. Can we move up to Paris? No. But we can move up to Poitou, I guess. Let's just conquer this region. They have entered into the Alps, actually, into Savoy's region. Let's see, when would the ships be done? In some time. Aragon is sieging that, perfect. We're making quite a lot of money on this war. I guess we have war taxes enabled or something. Uh, yes, we do. 11 uh, per month, that's uh, great. Let's see, uh, Austria and next Württemberg. Meaning that, oh, okay, Austria means business. They, we can ally them, I think, after this war. The question is, do we want to? Maybe not, since they are the emperor. And we want to ally someone else. We should keep our relations with the Pope high, so that they can't excommunicate us. Uh, we lost a general. Who did we lose? The Conquistador, again. <laughs> Dude, why? Okay, Conquistador. Uh, hunt for the Seven Cities, my friend. Hunt for the Seven Cities. The French are coming, and now, since we are sieging, we will get the penalty. Um, 21st of May, we probably can't leave the region. Uh, so we'll just have to hope that our two-star general will make it there. He has four maneuver, which is a lot. The French has three, which is less. So we'll see uh, what happens, how big this penalty will get. Uh, plus two fire, though. Minus one train. Sucks, but let's see. Hopefully this will go. And it worked. The French are defeated once again. 
how big is their army now? It is smaller than ours, 32 versus 36. Their manpower is at 51,000, ours is only at 15, so the French can sustain a lot of losses. Uh, that much is true. Tobacco. Let's see, we got some more ships here. We'll move them into the strait in case of uh, us being attacked at some point. There we go. Eight instead of six. That's a good uh, improvement. So let's uh, keep the army there just in case the French choose to attack us again. Taking Bateau would be excellent. Taking this right now would be better. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, the French are moving out. We can take Calabria now, I think, if we so dare. Um, I wonder where the Napoli, Napol, Naples, Napoleons, <laughs> Napoleons, Napolitonians are. Maybe they're trying to retake their cities. But Calabria is our war goal, so it would be nice to have it. Perfect. Up here are some enemies. This is where they are, actually. And we took Leonate. We shall... Mm, the French keep moving back and forth. We can move to Paris now. I think taking Paris would cripple the French uh, completely. And you know what? Let's just move back to uh, Messina. I don't want to lose you guys. Uh, local tax modifier, please. Oh, this is close, actually. Will they make it back is the question. Aragon is moving for Chartres or Paris. Let's see. Chartres, perfect. Them taking back Calabria is expected. We just took it to, uh, I guess, divert their, their um, gaze. Now, why are we gaining 10 instead of 11 again? Oh, because we have... Um, we lost our power projection score. They left the... No, okay, they haven't gotten there yet. 52, let's do um, my uh, diplomatic relations plus one, or reputation, rather. That's always good when, you f when you're fighting a war and you don't want that thing to go... Um, like the, the aggressive expansion impact to go haywire on you. Improve relations all around. That's fine. France, medium war enthusiasm and 6.5, 6.8 war exhaustion. They're losing in 9 gold a turn or from the war. That is uh, painful. And they're trying to take back some other provinces. It does, of course, not matter much down here, uh, especially those those uh, like simple towns. If they take back the forts, uh, that's a bit, a bit more harmful to us. But um, since we're sieging Paris and these northern cities, um, that's more important to us. Did all of them just move away? Okay, I think we can retake Calabria. Let's see, 49. On the next one, we should be able to get it. Attacked by natives, and uh, of course, our Kikisaro is killed once more. We took uh, rounds. 71, come on! I don't see any enemies here now, so let's uh, let's uh, okay. They're coming back. <laughs> those are our, those uh, genuine Genoans. We took shot and Paris, uh, of course, was not taken. Oh, what can we unlock? The free colonies expel minority minority cost minus one hundred percent. 
that's an excellent thing. We do want the diplomatic technology right now, though, so we'll wait for that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, that's so unnatural. I like that the Ar Argonis uh, tries to uh, scare away our enemies here. Of course we didn't make that, so the French are going to move in and we're going to lose this battle. Probably. Unless they can do it before they move in. I uh, no, they lost. Okay, come on now, take Paris. Perfect. Now the French. Uh, how is your war enthousi enthusiasm not low? Must be low soon. We're taking your capital. We are siege. We're basically owning your entire country. Medium. Th I think we'll wait it out for a few more months. Um, we're not gonna let them retake too much. If we take Caen, they they should be low. Gain one hundred population in Dominica. That's good. Is it low yet? No. You know, they're probably gonna retake this like on like seven percent or something. Just watch. Uh, okay, they're moving away. That's good. Ships are so important uh, in war, and that's which is like shown, um, you know, by just this fact that they can't cross because we control this and we control the strait. That way, we are not getting besieged in Sicily and lose a lot of points for that. Reformation branch is out. Um, so how far has the Re Reformation come right now? Okay, it's actually quite a lot. Um, yeah. I think uh, Bohemia always was Protestant. It was like Hussite. But here, well, there's only been a few years. Let's see. Okay. You gotta be, uh, you gotta be uh, quitting now soon, France. Gonna come for you. Ah, uh, Portugal, why? Okay, let's help Portugal siege calm. Uh, France is low. Then uh, one more turn. It will make them lower, probably. Maybe let's let's wait for calm. If uh, if we can take calm before they take, yeah, okay, we'll manage that then. Ah, oh, this battle, Aragon, why? We're gonna lose that. Okay, we took calm. Perfect. Just wait one more more for that to kick in. Perfect. France is low. Let's sue for peace. 94% war score against France. This is excellent. Um, first of all, war operations. And we shall humiliate you as well. That takes a lot of the um, war score away, of course. But I think uh, we want that power projection. Um, if you can release some states. Foi, two states over down there. Uh, Bourbonnais, Bourbonnais, <laughs> um, uh, let's see, maybe Bourbon, Bourbonnais, maybe, maybe they can join the Empire or something, we can France that way, or I'm also afraid that France will then just sort of, um, puppet them or something, basically take them back, let's see, we can take this much money, 1285, and all of that will go to, um, go to us, so we, so we can cripple them economically, and, uh, Cut their alliance with um, Naples, and maybe we should cut their alliance with Venice too. Yes. Okay, so we're basically isolating France and uh, demanding the Versailles Treaty, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get France out of the war. Perfect. Um, now the thing is, we should have probably moved our units out of France and into Italy before, because now we'll have to... I don't even know if we can get um, or we can, no, or, 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 let's move them to Sicily. That way we can just attack Sicily right away from, uh, uh I mean, Naples from Sicily. Perfect. Phew. <laughs> let's see. We are rich now. Let's build something, baby. Let's build some manufactories. And, uh, yeah, we lost our money. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's uh, good in the long run. And we have uh, amazing power projection, plus 74. Uh, we're back at 11 administrative power per month. We can make another diplomatic, no, colonists if we want to. 
But I think for now, since uh, the uh, we are 10 years ahead of time, um, by the time we have like six, seven, eight, nine hundred points, um, we'll probably be able to acquire modern technology, or uh, sorry, modern theocracy. Let's see here, close to having this a colony, and over here, close there as well. Now, we made it. Stability, perfect. Back to Calabria, guys. Actually, you can move all the way over there while you guys... Yeah, let's uh, merge you. No, you know what? We're over our limit. Let's, uh, let's not merge you. Let's just uh, span you. We don't need you anymore. You can go back into the pool. 72 turns. Let's do this now. So let's go for Naples. I'm done letting them think they can win this. Diplomatic reputation plus one and diplomatic annexation cost minus 15. That is a good, that's good timing, I think. For two, should we bombard the walls? Uh, yes, we should. Uh, we cannot stand in the way of progress, can we? We can't. There's no need to have this fleet here anymore. Um, let's try to uh, get rid of the uh, Napolitanian fleets. Guess we can also... Um, yeah. Let's just blockade them. Their siege won't do anything because they, they don't have the manpower to actually siege it. So they'll just stand there and suffer attrition. Perfect. Colonialism is spreading. And we can have Carax and Caravel. Very good. Caravel, I guess it's called. Aragon has been a very good ally. They've been uh, sieging, they've been attacking. We took Naples. Napoli. <laughs> They should be suffering now, yeah, low. I guess taking... Uh, we have claim on this. We would have to spend a lot of admin points on coring that. I think we'll have to do that, actually. I don't want to give it to Aragon. I don't even know if they want it. And let's see here, that's Naples fully sieged. And we have our first colony, Cuba. Perfect. We shall send our colonists to, I think, over here, to Zui. Can help them siege over there, and we'll take uh, Genoa as well. They're besieging us in Rosello, that's fine.
8 plus 1 piece, but we won't give it to them until... Uh, oh, another colony finished. Great. Uh, colonial Cuban claim by Castile. Who's sending the colonists here? Oh, Cuba. Okay, perfect. So Cuba is trying to... Um, colonize as well. That's what we need. They're building up their army. Perfect. Was born in an age of war, Cuba was. Let's see, Siena took uh, a city, but we will simply piece them out right now. Since we've fully sieged their territory, uh, war reparations, an alliance, and they uh, give us some money. I think we could theoretically just piece this out right now, but I want to... Um, I want to see Genoa hurt as well. Growth of the port of Bahia. Central trade increased by one. Perfect. Since we're not piecing out, uh, we're getting some war exhaustion. Um, but I think we can live with, with that. We're closer to getting uh, modern theocracy. Probably a few years. I don't like that they're sieging us here, but we'll we'll have to keep uh, keep a cool head. Good harvest. Oh yes, administrative points. And we have a new monarch, Isabel, and Juan is our heir. We cannot be elected. Uh, because uh, we are not eligible, probably because uh, I guess our because of our queen. But shouldn't that be? Um, I thought Austria had uh, enacted uh, pragmatic sanction, hadn't they? That's why they had a queen, a queen before, or uh, uh, an heir like a princess. Strange. Very strange. Ah, diplomatic reputation plus two. I guess we don't really need it right now then. That sucks. Um, let's do colonial range plus one then. I guess. We don't want to pay that much for the diplomatic rep guy. Okay, 49. Can you take journal? Okay, let's just blow these walls up then. They're probably going to take this. Just watch. V49. The AI wins anything on a... Okay, good. <laughs> we, we did it. Um, and let us just peace you out, guys. You, don't, you didn't have that much money, Genoa. But you had enough. Um, let's do this. And now for the moment of reckoning. We can't vassalize them, but we will take enough cities for, uh, for this war to be worth it. Um, this will... Um, Create a massive coalition against us. Not that massive, actually, but I think big enough for us not wanting to do this. So let's see. Do we have to take Naples? No. Uh, we don't have to take Naples, uh, and it will be lessen the coalition to simply Naples. I think we. Sh I think this is what we'll we will do. Take some money from you, and uh, yeah, you don't have an alliance with uh, France uh, still. I think this is good. I think this is good. Perfect. We got what, what we wanted. We uh, got our war. We got our land. We got our money. We can now even buy our, ourselves to uh, colonialism. Like fully adopt it. Um, I think... You know what? We're so close to getting uh, the uh, modern theocracy now. But we also have to core our regions. Ah. Uh, it doesn't cost that much, luckily. We'll reduce this so it costs even less. And, um... Yeah, okay, fine. Let's just do it. And we will wait with buying up, um... The institution until, um... Our cores are done, I think. That way, it'll probably cost less as well. 
Okay, guys, I think we'll stop it there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This was a very successful... Um, successful episode uh we managed to do a lot uh i enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you next time as well so thank you so much for for watching and have a great day